What is up guys, Steve here and welcome to another video. In today's video you guys we're going to be doing something definitely special to us, something I've wanted to do for a long time, something I've never done before. You guys have been watching the channel at all for a while, you guys have known how many attempts I've tried at a white sturgeon before, how many times I've gone to the Snake River, I've tried to catch one, it's never worked out. So you guys can see today it's still dark out but we're actually on the beautiful Snake River and we're actually a lot farther up than I typically will go and we're right below the Hell's Canyon right now. So you guys, what we're doing today is we're actually meeting up with a guide. Um, I believe his name is Brian. We're going to be taking a jet boat all the way into the Hell's Canyon and we're going to be chasing the white sturgeon. Let's see what happens. As you guys can see today I'm fishing with some of my three favorite people to fish with and that's my dad and the wife. Guys, first fish of the day. You guys go. First charging of the day. Yep. Let it go. Let it go its way. Nice. Thanks, dude. Yeah. It's sure. awesome. Well, there you guys go. You saw it for yourselves. You got our first fish of the day in the boat. Not in the boat, but we caught one. <laughs> Just so you guys know, all charging in the Snake River are catch and release only, so we're going to put them back and let them grow bigger, but broke the ice. Pretty excited. And Sarah just hooked up, you guys. Get them unhooked, you guys, or we're gonna let them go. Nice. There you go. <laughs> nice look done, Sarah. Nice work. Basically what we're doing is we're just going from spot to spot doing what our guide's telling us to do but we already got two fish, we're pretty happy, it's been a great time. As you guys can see, Dad's behind me is actually trying to catch a bass so we're not just wasting time here but it's been a great day. And the heat's finally out of the Pacific Northwest which has been awesome. He's hooked up you guys. Seems 
to me like the new spot's been up already. Well, as you guys know, most of our adventures this year happen to end in rain, typically. Um, this is no exception. Um, a little better weather moved in, but nevertheless, we brought the right gear, so we're staying warm and still enjoying the elements. I mean, what kind of trip would it be with Northwest of the Adventures this year if it didn't rain, right? So. All right, this is a big one. Looks like Doug picked up a big one, guys. Alright you guys, we got a big fish on. This one is definitely taking its sweet time, so we're on to our second angler now, trying to land this thing, so great times you guys, great times. What do you have to say sir? He's heavy. <laughs> Does this feel the same as a 20 inch cutthroat you're used to catching? All right, guys, we're on our third person really now. Sarah's on the fish. I think I'm up next, and it's insane. This thing, this thing is just taking forever. It's so powerful. It's just taking drag. We've had it in about five, six times now, and it just runs right back out. So, it's super cool. of these things is insane. Nothing like it. Yep. Freshwater marlin, right? Or hill, hillbilly marlin. At this point, I have no idea how long we've been fighting this fish. Um, all of us got to reel for a little bit. Um, we're just all just kind of sharing the love and not just the love, we're sharing our muscles too because honestly, we're trying to get this fish out as fast as possible so that we can put it back so you can live a happy life. But you get tired, man. I reeled it up for a little bit and it really does wear on your hands. Um, this ain't no cutthroat, so. Uh -huh. Nice and tight. Here you guys go. Hills Canyon, white virgin. So put that right to the nose. Oh, shoot. 104. Oh, yeah. 104. Say, so, um, what, eight foot eight? Yeah. All right. Eight foot eight. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful fish. pretty much speechless right now there's not a whole lot of words you can describe the emotions I'm feeling right now this has been a dream of mine for a long time if you guys follow the channel you've seen all the attempted sturgeon fishing trips I've done and but you guys they didn't take Brian but four hours to hook us into a nice fish we caught a couple earlier as you guys saw it's just amazing and everybody got to fight it it wasn't just like one person hooked and pulled it out but it took us about 40 minutes give or take we didn't exactly time it but it was fun this Community fish, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Brian, thank you, man. Absolutely. Thank man. you. Anytime.
After spending a little bit of time enjoying the scenic Hell's Canyon, which is worth this trip all on its own, we didn't have to wait long for a second, this time a 9 foot long sturgeon. We mostly enjoyed this beast to ourselves, but here are a few highlights. You guys, you gotta sacrifice the body a little bit for your boots. Today's the boots. Well, you guys, what an epic adventure we had out here today. I know I've already said it before, but if you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know how many times I've come out here and tried to do this before and failed to catch sturgeon. To, to land two today was just absolutely spectacular, yet alone fish with a three, one of my favorite people to ever fish with. So it was just a great day. That being said, you guys, I don't want to keep boring you with the details of the day. You guys came along with us. You saw everything that happened. The guide service was absolutely spectacular. Anyways, if you guys want to come out here and do this, I'm going to leave the guide service down below here. Um, I'm going to link the link below so you guys can just click on it. The name is Steel Dreams Guide Service. And for the record, you guys, this video is not sponsored. They did not give me any kind of discount to say this stuff or anything like that. I reached out to them completely on my own. We booked a trip with him. Um, and then asked them if it's okay to make a video today. So if they were a great service, um, the guide Brian was absolutely amazing. Um, if you guys ever want to come out here and do this, I would highly recommend them. Like I said, links below, click on it. If you guys have any questions, reach out to me and I'll give you their info. That being said, you guys, we're gonna pack up. We're gonna head home. As you guys can see, we're glamping today. Um, kind of the benefit of camping with your dads, I suppose, but we're gonna pack up the camper, you guys. We're gonna relax here for a little bit more. We're gonna head home. As always, you guys, take for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Like this video, and I will see you in the next adventure.